Many of you may be preparing to cosplay if you're headed out this weekend. Dr. Richard Chef was here to explain what you need to look for before you put on that costume and that makeup and both involve myself and Raul. So we're going to be paying close attention to this. Dr. Shafu, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. The Comic-Con, there is a, a lot of makeup yes. and a, a lot of stuff on the face for uh, Comic-Con. So it can be dangerous. It can be, Charlie. And actually, you know, studies have shown that about 10% of us at some point in our lifetime will actually have a contact dermatitis. So this is a, a more common Common problem than we might think it is and it's not just the costumes that we wear it's everything else that goes along with the costumes as you said the makeup so there are a lot of different factors to take into consideration when you talk about this dermatitis is that like allergic reaction all it's of a, a sudden it's exactly an allergic okay. reaction oftentimes it's due to chemicals that we're unaware of in some of these less Ooh. expensive products oh okay so that face paint <laughs> guys you may need to change my costume <laughs> uh, does that do permanent Damage Not to necessarily your skin? permanent damage, Charlie, but the problem is that we don't know what's in a lot of these costume makeups, if you will. Yes. And oftentimes they'll plug the pores. So if you have a skin problem like acne, it can okay. cause more of a breakout. And for example, in some of the makeups that you can find in costume stores, they have formaldehyde, which is, is that, that that's embalming, yeah, I've right, seen these the embalming fluid. Yeah. They're not really that safe. So, I, you know, I, what, what's the best decision if you're going to put on makeup is using stage makeup. Why? Because stage makeup is safe. Uh. If you think about it, it's on actors' faces for hours and they're around stage lights, and it's not going to plug your pores. So, it's a little bit more expensive. But safer in the but long worth term. It. But, but worth, worth it. it. Okay, that's for the makeup. Yes. Are there other there, little dangers that we should look out for? There are other things. You know, the metal uh, class, uh, like the buttons, the the necklaces, the rings that some people wear have okay. nickel and, um, and and cobalt in them, which can cause a contact reaction. So you can get a redness, an itching, a scaliness from from oh. those types of products. Even things like, uh, for example, fake blood. Um, which has some uh, lead in it and some other chemicals, you have to be careful of the fake teeth that, that mm -hmm. you have your children wear. Again, they can have lead in them, some other chemicals. And some of the less expensive costumes, surely, have PVC and some other chemicals that are not all that great. So the best advice to give people is if you're going to use a costume, don't shop the price. You want quality, you want something that's a good quality mm -hmm. costume. And especially, if your children really love their costumes year to year, like my kids have this emotional attachment to one from a year, yes. a year before, and you save them, you put them away. Yes. Well, when you bring them out, make sure you wash them because there can be dust mites that get in them. Ooh. And there are certain laundry detergents that are only specific for getting rid of those dust mites. So if you have a child that has allergies or asthma and they want to use an old costume that they bring out of the closet, please make sure that you wash it in the right detergent. Face coverings are required yes. at Comic-Con. Yes, very important. So what rules change with Comic-Con coming back? Because we haven't had it for a few we years We haven't as had well. it for a, a, a few years. So the important thing is, is we're in the same kind of mask that we're all used to wearing, right? Ones that, that are, are going to be covering the nose and covering the mouth. Um, and then the other thing, we think of covering, Shawley, any type of... Uh, covering that we're using, especially like a part of a costume or a mm -hmm. mask or a mm -hmm. helmet, mm -hmm. can restrict our vision. So you got to be really careful to do what we call a dress rehearsal. So before you go out and you know cross the streets or go around where there are metal poles, you might run into somebody else, try that costume on and make sure that you're safe, that you have good peripheral vision, that you know where you're going. Well, I'm very excited. Or Comic Con cool. to just be back, and yeah, and we're going to be out there getting all dressed up as we have been doing for many many years. And I will remember all of this stuff. This is a good preview, Dr. Shafu, for Halloween too, which is right Very, around the corner. Yeah, just around the right? corner. Right, you're buying those Definitely. costumes. Thank you. Good Thank advice. Thank you. Good to see you.